Hey, what's going on guys? T-Rex here, and welcome to another episode of our Minecraft build series. Now, yes, this is still part of the village. As you can see, I've kind of gone a bit closer to the portal in this open area here. Now, the reason being is we're going to be doing the Fletcher's house, as you can see from the target. And I feel like the Fletcher should kind of be away from the hustle and bustle of the village and kind of be out on his own, so... In today's episode, this is going to be a bit of a different house, I guess. Because I'm going to be trying something that I found online. <laughs> yes, me trying something that's not mine. So, what it is, is kind of a lower bearing house. And I just saw it and thought, heck, why not give it a try? So, first things first, we're going to get the front and do that, and we're going to put those down. What it is, is two logs, which, to get the size, I'd already placed some logs, because, well, as any good builder, <laughs> you want to. And then, with that, we're going to do that on the bottom part of top log. Because then, as you can see here, you've got stairs without stairs, basically. It's kind of hop up, and you can go. So we're going to lay down base of this. And the floor is actually not even going to be in the ground. It's going to be the planks here. So let's see. Yeah, you can't build on planks. So I see how I'm going to have to do this, actually. see, we're going to have to build in, I think, two, and no, uh, this isn't an online tutorial, this is actually being done <laughs> from a picture, so, if I'm being honest, I don't even know, like, the exact dimensions for this, this is all just guessing on my behalf. <laughs> Seems like uh, it could turn out well. It seems like it might be a bit cramped, but let's just see how it turns out. I think it might turn out well. So then we have to go one more in. And then. Do, 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 do. Oh, that shouldn't be there. Should move everything just in one like this. And it's interesting too using planks like this instead, well, slabs, not planks. And it's raining. That is never a good sign, but we keep working through. So, next we will be doing the roof, which I find to be, well, yes, interesting, but same time, I don't know how to put it. Looks a little off center in a way. So we make this nice and high. If you must know, yes, I will put the picture of the house in the thumbnail of the video because, <laughs> well, one, show you guys where I got my original idea from, but two, just kind of, again, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to try other people's ideas for once, I guess, and, well, I have to say I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit, just because, yes, I could say it's less work, but it's not even that. It's just trying to maybe even, like, not improve, but try and, hmm, I don't know. This will just give me ideas, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And with that, ideas come, originality will eventually come, and from that, who knows? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe the person who did come up with this will 
ask me, you know, why not do something with them, or maybe they'll hate me for it. But, yeah, I don't know. Just, I guess, something different from my usual top houses. Well, not top, but, I don't know, top hat like houses, I guess, would be the word. Let's see, take these, move this in, one more layer, and then do, 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 and after this, I'm actually going to be using stairs, and <laughs> this is either going to turn out or it won't. Let's see, how can I, no, I, nope. Hmm. Okay, there we go. I can do that. And then I can use that to do this. So I guess placing the corner is my best bet. Because then that will just actually turn the stairs into, well, I don't know how to put it. No, not like that. I want it. There we go. And then, do, do, nope. <laughs> you know what, guys? Once I finish the roof, I'll come back to you. Alright, so I. Hmm. Is that what it looks like? No. Hmm. My building is a bit more rectangular than what the picture is. Now. No, they got my guys. I'll have to go spawn more in, I guess. Uh, another right sword. And let's get rid of you. There go. There we go, get rid of you guys. And now... Connect to the roof there. Kind of, I guess, place like. Hmm. So place it like that. And then. Okay, so. Place them on top of each other till they reach the ceiling. And then delete one from the ground. Ceiling again, and the ground. Yeah, I don't know how to put this. This almost seems kind of. I uh, don't know. Ooh, yeah, that doesn't. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder if I can just slip in. There we go. Because those corners worked. These didn't for some reason. Hmm. But, okay. Let's just throw those on. And there we go. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a small house, I guess, because of how I did this. Hmm. But, eh. Let's see, I want that to be. I had that one, so that, that be one. And I just need to quickly run into the also. Yes!
Alright guys, and I'm back. So, let's see. Just getting this done. Look out across. I guess I should kind of just seal up around the edges. Because <laughs> apparently light's peeking through. There we go. Drop down. Hmm. And then, ah, how about make these two wide? So we've got two over here. Actually, just do that. And then what it shows is fences. So seal it up with fences. Hmm. Yeah, kind of, again, reminds me of kind of a Japanese style house. And there we have it. The Fletcher's house is basically complete. Now, fortunately my picture doesn't show me what looks like inside. So I guess that is for me to figure out. Hmm. And you know what? Uh, I don't know though. I can't put bed on slabs, so probably use the planks. Because the open ceiling like that actually is a tad bit bigger. And then, here we go. I guess, <laughs> in a way, that kind of makes sense, since then the Fletcher could shoot out of their house instead of having windows. Now for your uh, doors. Yeah, I didn't think of that, actually. Um, hmm. Think, let's see, throw that up there. And then, doors. It doesn't show any doors. And apparently I made my things too big. Because, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, they're not big enough, but I can't move them to make them too, like in this picture. Again, I didn't follow this completely. This is just kind of like, I don't know, something fun to do, I guess. Let us find a bed. The Fletcher, uh, I don't know if we've done white yet, but I want to do white for the arrow of the Fletcher. We need a Fletcher's table. And we'll go... Oh. <laughs> Is it just an uh, item frame, if I remember correctly? Yep. We'll go bow, and why not a crossbow, and arrow. So boom, we'll have the Fletcher's table here. We also need a chest. There we go. Oh, right, lighting. Hmm. I'd say lanterns, why not? Yes, I know I do overuse them a bit, but can they, nope. Hmm. No, uh, maybe just, yeah, on the floor and it kind of lights it up. The whole thing almost, actually. Hmm. Can I put one on top of the chest? Nope. could hang it in this. Now the thing is, it would probably look better if, yeah, did that. So <laughs> I guess this is my own twist on it, is putting lanterns there. And that kind of lights up the house. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Mystic Trader. So let's spawn our buddy in. 
We'll need a villager egg. And we'll probably need to go make ourselves a farmer. There we go, we have ourselves a Fletcher. Now, to go make him an archery range. So, say... Hmm. Everything's kind of a lighter color for this. Why not make it even lighter with some birch? So... Grab some... Hmm. Say birch planks. Oh, dang, we're gonna need that back. Need those, chest we don't need, we'll keep that, don't need that. And we'll need the item frame back. So we will just quickly do up a two wall like this. And in each one, we will put something. So there we go. And then I guess I should put a sign. And we'll go with dark contrast is what I like. So we have a bow here, a crossbow, and arrow. There we go. And then from here, set up the firing range basically. So Say, put a line here. Hmm. There we go. And let's put down something red, I'd say. Wool, there's stone. Got red concrete, terracotta, concrete powder. Let's say the red concrete. And we don't need the item frame anymore. We don't need. Well, hmm. I'd say let's keep that actually. That gives me an idea too. And then we put red concrete where you'll stand to fire. And then on the back of this, we'll put the target range. Oop. Yeah, finger slipped on that. Then I'll actually need my shovel back. <laughs> and some dirt. Let's see. Okay, now we're done with the signs. We're done with the arrows, crossbow, and the bow. Need those. Done with that. And we'll grab a wooden shovel today. Let's see, fill that in. I'm just gonna fill in the water bit here. And then just kind of divert the path. And unfortunately, I have to fill this in more. Let's see, so Zig and will zag right past the water. Fortunately, grass and flowers are in the way, along the way. But here we go. Now we've got ourselves a nice path. Maybe just a bit more. Thing is, this almost seems more like a fisherman's house. Having a little ponds here. And the fences are probably... there we go. And we should have one, two, th one, two, three targets. So let's see. From here, I have one just that close. And we'll move two over. This one be a bit further out. And then here, move like way back here. I wonder if I'll actually be able to hit with anything. <laughs> Let's see. 
just for fun. Let's grab a bow. And, hmm. Arrow of strength, healing. Ah, wish there's like fire arrows. I wonder if the spectral arrow will actually have an effect on the target. So let's see. Stand on the red. And, oh. Not even a bullseye. Get rid of that. And, yeah, I guess I need to aim a bit higher than the target itself. Uh, so that's about the range. Hmm. Ah. At least I can hit near the not the ace bullseye. Ooh, is that ah close? Just off the corner. I'll take one more shot. And. Oh, I think that's the same spot. A bit to the left. Okay, that's way too high now. Too low. Too high. Same spot as usual. Too low. Okay. Point of the matter is, yes, I can hit the target. So guys, as always, hope you all enjoyed the video. Don't forget, check out the description down below. Don't forget to also leave a comment, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that bell to subscribe. This is T-Rex, signing off. Peace!